Corgi now, like, you know, we could throw whatever type of party we want to throw. We could be in Oakland, it could be in San Francisco, it could be all black people. Um, and it's fine, it, 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 it's perfect, there's no prom problems. And that's what these clubs are scared of. Um, but like I said, it, it, and now it's crazy because like the art, I feel like the art changed a lot of the vibe of people. Um, and back in the day, like if you used to go out, parties out here in Oakland, you know, used to be functions, at 12 o'clock, you know they shut them down. And, and so, but now it's not even like that. It don't even have to be like an art party. It, just Oakland's different now. So, you know, it's just a different vibe. But um, that's pretty much how it, how it started. Um, and I didn't know, we didn't know it was gonna stick at all. It was just something that, it just happened and then we, we, once we found it, we were like, okay, we gotta work on this. And all of the artists who exhibit their art, by the way, keep 100% of the proceeds, yeah, right? Yeah. And do not pay a fee to have yeah. their art exhibited at their space. Correct. So it's very important to protect your name, protect your brand, protect your logos, stop sharing everything on social media, um, and like just your ideas, like protect it. And definitely, so Oakland's trademarked, and so Ghana's trademarked, and so Houston is trademarked, and you just have to be about your business. And that's the thing, we skip steps, because we're such in a rush to like, oh, I wanna go to parties, I wanna, oh, I wanna make some money, and you're not understanding like there's business and there's levels to it, because you can work so hard for all of that, and it can get taken away that quick. So definitely, it's your trademark, Legal Zoom 325, like it's an, it's an investment that you definitely write that down. Jesse, you guys have Correct. a trademark and yeah, copyright? Yeah, we, we got a trademark. Um, it's a long process for I don't really plan on that. Amina does a lot of that. But from what I know, it, it's just, it's a long process. It's like a million steps. But I mean, it's something that, like, like she said, it's, it's, you got to do it. Where do you invest most of your time to, to keep you guys growing and expanding? Because year after year, you know, you have to grow, right? You have to offer people something different. Um, but that still aligns to what trap art is. Right, right. So, like, like she was saying, it has, it's, it's a lifestyle. Um, you know, you can't turn it on and off. And, and the consistency part, um, you have to deliver consistent events. And, and that's only going to happen if, if you work consistently at, at your craft. It's like anything. Like, you want to be a good basketball player, you got to practice a lot. You want to do whatever you like. Think of all the people at the top of their profession. Uh, they work hard at it, and, and so that's you know just like what we do um, it, every day. It's, a, it's Monday through, through Sunday uh, morning to, to nighttime, and, and it don't stop. Um, you know, it's not like you you don't want to just go all day because then you're gonna get burnt out. But but you know you definitely have to put the work in because um, if you don't, like people aren't just gonna come to your events just because the name or just because even even. You know, people think like, oh, trap art. Like, it, it doesn't work like that. We don't just put up a, a flyer and people come. You know, there's a formula that, that we have to work on consistently. Um, and, and it has to be right for trap art. Yeah, yeah. It, it has to be right for trap art. It, it, it is trap art. So, you know, um, but you definitely you gotta, you gotta work. There's no, there's no way around it. There's no, there's no like shortcuts. There's no, it's gonna it's gonna be difficult at times. It's gonna take a lot of energy um, and sacrifice, sacrifice of time. Um, but you know that's just the, the cost that it takes if you want to get to where you want to get to. Social media. Yeah, I mean I, I think Instagram is like the, the most popular uh, social media platform. Uh, we use Twitter too. We have a Facebook. Um, there's even like LinkedIn. We don't really use it, but LinkedIn has some. Um, it's like trying to make like a comeback or almost a comeback. But so with Instagram, I think, um, you know, we just try to post like dope content. Like my cousin over there, he's our media director, Brent Mechie. And so he does a lot of videos for us. And, and so we just post uh, videos or, or just dope art, art or, or just dope content that, pe that uh, people would like. Or if it's like, yeah, if it's a crazy, that takes like hours to get in. Which happens with your events. Yeah, that only got like one time. But, <laughs> but, but yeah, for that event, like the first Oakland event, yeah. we weren't prepared. Like, and that's gonna happen. Like with anything you do, you can try your hardest to prepare, but unless you do it, it, it you 
know, you, you, you're never gonna know. Um, and, and so you just gotta work through that. How do you get over the hump of, of being a little, a little shy in front of people and, and promoting yourself, promoting your brand? Anybody? Yeah, I mean, you're just gonna have to do it. Uh, <laughs> Nike, you're gonna do it. I mean, you're gonna have to humble yourself. Like, I remember I used to, we're passing out flyers to people like in 2009, yeah. walking to people, everything I mean, crazy. But you know, you just gotta do it. I don't, I don't even like public speaking, but you know, you, you do this so much, you eventually gonna have to be in front of the microphone, so you just gonna have to do it. Um, basically, just do it. Well, because for, for me, from my perspective, like that's a lot of more, um, especially when we started, that's a lot of more overhead. Um, and, and so I think it's very important um, if, you, if you're doing this, you're going to be doing it out your own pocket. You want to be able to be making a profit. Uh, it, 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 you know, so I think that that's why, you know, we, we try to keep the expenses low. Try to keep the expenses low as possible so you can make that profit. Um, and, and, and so that's pretty much why we have been like stay stationary. And then, you know, with social media, you could, it's easy now to do an event across the country because of social media. And so it's like you could expand your own brand across country. Well, you know, that, to me that's better than just staying in one place. I mean, you can have a base, you know, we have bases, um, but I think that, you know, expanding, you know, some more people know about your brand if you're expanding, and you, them expenses are low. On all the big companies, you know, they usually get investors, but, um, you know, I, I don't really know how to, do that. That's kind of um, a tactic that I've really got to in terms of seeking investors. Um, so I just think, you know, trying to find a way for you yourself to, to make money, like that, that to me that has to be like, you know, because then you want, you want to keep going. You want to keep your business going. Your businesses need money to keep going so you can keep working on it. Um, and so I think that it's just very important for you to to sit down and think of a way like, okay, how am I going to turn this profit so, you know, I can sustain, sustain and keep going and, and not just be here one day and go on the next. Um, and, and like I said, investors, um, I'm not sure. Like, I'm not, I'm not good at like asking people for money. That's not something that I, that I like to do, but I mean, in, in the future, who knows? You know, but, but um, you gotta get it out, out, out the money yourself. To do things like it's um, like there's there's different ways to have brands. You can have personal brands that those work out, those successful. You could just have the brand. Um, so it's just whatever floats your boat. Whatever you know, if you if you want to be the face of, of the brand, then 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 do that. Um, if you want to be more behind the scenes and, and you want the brand to have the name, and you don't really want the attention that that comes with some people like that, then do that. So I just think it's whatever floats, floats your boat, um, just go with that. Go to tropexart.com slash music. Fill out the form. Tomorrow's auditions. Come through. Yeah. 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 Everybody is here, so thank you for the gems, thank you for the wisdom. On that note, let's get some music going. Well, me personally, I went for you know, Simone, me creations. You see the, see the button there. But yeah, I just wanted to, I just wanted to gain some more knowledge on business. I didn't go to business school or nothing, so you know, I'm one of those people that need some of this knowledge, some of this good free free game in here. So that's why I came. Also, I wanted to, you know, just meet some of the people here, even though I didn't get to really meet them because everybody's like bouncing around. But <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it was a good event though. I feel like they, they touched a lot of bases that a lot of people want to know. I feel like they did, especially me, because I definitely have my little notebook and I definitely took notes in here. So yeah, I feel like it was good. I feel like they should definitely do this more, honestly. I feel like this should be like something that's Possibly monthly, possibly monthly or just more recent because not I don't 
don't feel like enough people came out, honestly. I feel like more people could have came out. I feel like more people could have, you know, gained some knowledge on this stuff, but honestly, for sure, do it again. You guys should do it again, for real, because it was, it was worth it for me. It was worth it for me and a lot of other people, so. I basically heard the devil's advocate in there about the prices regarding me and my pricing. So I feel like I, I felt like I, you know, I heard something I needed to hear in there. I learned that yeah, 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 yeah. it's okay to charge a little bit more because I'm, I'm good for like charging, you know, lower prices for the low. <laughs> you know, especially for my people and everything. So I don't know. I feel like it's okay now. Just from hearing that discussion in there, I just feel like it's okay. Like it's okay to charge a little bit more because people, if they fuck with you, they're gonna pay for it. And I feel like that's the stage where I'm at. You know, I feel like if people really fuck with me, then you know they're gonna pay for my shit. And I feel like it's happening. So that's one thing I did learn. I learned a lot though. I learned a lot. I learned a lot because I, I feel like I'm still beginning. So. These are people that are, you know, been in the game for years, so I definitely feel like I learned a lot from them. Hopefully, I can be like them one day. Hopefully. I'm trying to be like this guy. See, this guy to be like this guy. What they bring, they don't have, they don't have, it's not accessible. Like, we have trap art all the time. So they brought out like, the biggest and the best. If I saw that in Atlanta, yeah, they, they bring out big pieces like Houston too. They brought out some big pieces. Oh, it was dope, man. Uh, it was really good bringing out these uh, these people that that have, that have been entrepreneurs for a minute and just kind of doing a hustle, showing that you can you can leave your nine to five, uh, be on your grind, and still make it. You know what I'm saying? And then no better place to do it than Oakland, uh, where you got the full support of the people. I always tell people, you know, if you can make it in Oakland, if you can get a hundred people in Oakland to support you, you're gonna always have a hundred people. So. They're in the right city. I mean, they're doing it. We got some good examples of people that have been hustling. That's been, that's been pushing, pushing the, the envelope. Been on their grind, man. So if it was dope. Definitely hope we have a couple more, a few more like this uh, in the city because we need them. How to build your brand and the baby dance a little different. And you know that. So we just had some of the dopest Bay Area lifestyle brands. Uh, Trap Art. Shout out Trap Art. Shout out Trap Art. <laughs> not so, sponsored. So Oakland. Ocala. Big up yourself. And yes. they just dropped hella gems. Hella gems. All the knowledge. How to build your brand. How to trademark it. How to establish it. Promote it. Come up with a mission. How right. to develop a brand identity. Yes. Um, and keep it open. Keep it open. Yeah. We would definitely do something like this again. Um, I mean, we were definitely nervous getting ready for this event. Um, Especially because I was moderating. She was moderating, and so she had a lot of work on her hands putting together just the flow, um, coming up with questions, yeah. and just making sure that everybody on the panel was vibing with each other, making sure nobody was left out. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was a lot. And we were just like, who's coming? Before we put this on, people were- Man, you know what? It's a testament to like what Oakland wants and, and being able to try to facilitate and understand what that want is. Yeah. And shout out again to everybody, Jesse, Amina, thank you for doing this. Like, it's a testament to how big these brands are mm -hmm. and how willing they are to still like lend a hand, especially for us. Oakland's only been alive three months. Three months. It's been live Brand three new. months. Yeah. And we reached out to them and they were so gracious to not only be interviewed for our podcast but job knowledge for us yes. and everybody in there who had so many questions on how to build yes, a brand they were so tuned in so shout like, out to all the black enterprise shout out to all black everybody yes everybody we trying to you, start you. their thing you know make their side hustle the main hustle working nine right. to five five to nine right we see you we shout are out. you <laughs> we're <laughs> right. trying to work you we're trying to understand right. how this we was we was listening to the panel just as much as everybody else exactly so we were taking notes so we are woke ones hey woke ones Oakland podcast. We are the podcast about Oakland, about being black in Oakland. Um, you know, we moved here two years ago from San Jose, and we were just so enamored with the city, with the people, with the vibe, and just there's an energy here that really can't be replicated. And you know, it's the heart of the Bay, so we wanted to document it and share it with everybody, um, share the spirit of Oakland with everybody. Um, and we talk about we, we're a monthly show, um, so we talk. We have a new theme every month. Um, this month's theme was 
In the Bay, we dance a little different. Night Lifestyle, life. nightlife in the Bay, and how and it's the changed. evolution yeah. of nightlife, how, how, how we saw it when we were 18, how we saw it, how we see it now at 28, how that's yes. changed, and all the movements that come with that. So, right. The black experience in Oakland, all the nuances. Shout out to West Oakland, that's where we live. Right. So we're inspired by the Panthers and everything that's come that comes with, with being and living in Oakland. So. From the transplants to the natives, the locals, the techies, the hood niggas, like all of that. We are trying to represent all of them. On our show, yeah. so definitely check us out. Um, Wokeland Podcast on Instagram. This is Wokeland.com. Wokeland on Facebook. We're on Spotify. We are on iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher. Anywhere you can get podcasts, you can find Wokeland. Check us out. Audio of Men is a, a Wokeland uh, panel that the, the, the Wokeland podcast ladies put together. Um, so we were on their podcast, me and Amina, we were on their podcast uh, about a month ago. And then they said they want to do a panel discussion. Um, and so they put it together. They hit us up and, and, and then we kept, and I came through um, and it was dope. It was cool, man. It was cool. Like, you know, just to see people there asking questions. Everybody, you know, people, you, it, it seemed like a lot of people in the audience, like a lot of people in the audience, you know, were, were working on their own things, had their own things going. Um, and so that's, that's cool to see that, you know, people are, you know, trying to take that, trying to take that step and be their own entrepreneur, be their own boss. So, you know, it was cool to see that. And, and you know, I always like sharing my experiences with the people. I mean, I think really, I really don't like doing speeches. So I think, I, I think like this type of thing, uh, where it's more, you know, question and ask, like, it was cool. You know, I'm talking about something that that, that I'm passionate about. I think it's, uh, it's pretty easy, but, you know, still get a little nervous, though. Uh, Shayla from Oakland, and Oakland, yeah, it was, I mean, you know, people representing Oakland, it, like I said, it's just a, it's a cool thing because um, when, when, when I used to go out, and, and, and you know when I was younger like people used to be scared to come out to Oakland and party in Oakland and I know Oakland has changed and a lot of people say it's for the negative um, and of course you know the gentrification like you know that that displaces a lot of people um, but I've seen Oakland change for the positive as well and, and you know you see all these different brands they able to do parties in Oakland and you know and they all on the same type of vibe you know all on the all on that positive type vibe, all on that, you know, good vibes type vibe. Um, so that's that's a dope thing, you know, to see to see our city and, and just pe people. It's, there's more options for people to do, to have fun. Oh uh, man, it was like I said. I mean, it was all dope, you know. You just like I said, you just see, you just see these people that are all trying, you know, and they have to be trying if they're here, uh, seeking information and just you know talk to them and, and you know see you know to see them and to see them want to talk to me and ask me a question um is 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 dope i mean it's like man like you know i never really you, I, this is a different stage in my life to where you know people are doing that and so it's just that's a little different but um it's dope and, and you know i just hope everybody um is able to to make what they want to happen happen